Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back. My name is Monique and I'm on a financial health journey to create an inheritance for the generations to come. I want to do that through consistency and discipline. Today we are here to do a budget with me. Um, and it's actually going to be for the entire bi-weekly time period. Um, I'm going to be, we'll talk about it. <laughs> so I like to thank anybody who's liked or commented on any of my videos and especially those that have chosen to subscribe to my channel. Truly started this as a way to hold myself accountable. I understand, recognize, and appreciate the community as a whole. So if you're rocking with me on this journey, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't made up your mind yet, sit with me for a spell. At the end of this video, if it's content you find valuable or enjoyable, please feel free to subscribe. It's myself and sweets, married with a whole bunch of kids, figuring out our future, our family, and our finances. So the decisions we're making now won't negatively impact them in the future. I'm going to scooch out just a little bit. And what we're here to do is today is the 22nd. So I get paid on tomorrow, August the 23rd. And we're going to do a recap of the, or we're going to do a budget with me, sorry, for the August 23rd through September 5th paycheck. That's the time frame that it's going to cover. Okay. So first we're going to start with our, let me move this over out the way, move this over here and let's pull up the the big calendar, big Bertha, and let's talk through what it looks like as far as our last budget is concerned. So I've already done the budget closeout, and that video's been posted. So for, no, 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 no. What am I doing? Yes, Lord. I'm going to make sure you get your, get your, get your tithes. All right, so. For this week, the 16th through the 22nd, we had over here in the corner, Ring for South, South Carolina, Ring came out. That was a yearly subscription that we paid. Auto came out. I paid Kohl's another $90. Green Sky for $90 came out as well. And that's all that we needed to have covered. Now we're going into, like I mentioned before, the week of the 23rd. We're starting tomorrow, the 23rd. And this check is going to run us all the way through, all the way through till the 5th. Right, so it's going to cover all of the normal bills that you all will see, and we'll talk about those more in detail when we go through the weekly, um, the bu the budget with me. But I can tell you, Xerxes has a wellness check here on the twenty six, and I've saved up. Well, as of tomorrow, I will have saved up about three hundred dollars for that. So it's not something that I'm going to have to cash flow out of my bills account. Also, for lawn care, we decided to skip for this week because. So I should have gotten it cut on the 22nd and the money would come out on the 26th, but the lawn really hasn't grown any. So we'll be skipping that one altogether. I'm not going to um, erase it. I'll keep it here, but I'll scratch through it um, just to show that we did not actually end up paying that money. And I think that's it. That's all we had. Other than I did go into my account at work, my employee account to see what the bonus was going to be looking like. Um, because it does look good for me to get one, but, um, not, but, and, um, it looks pretty good. I'm happy. Um, so let's first get situated. So this is the monthly calendar in the budget binder that I have. This is all of last week that I've already worked through. So we're going to take all of that out and we're going to move it back here to the back. All right. Because I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to undo it just to make it easier to put all of these pages in. Next, we are going to come here to the new one that I've been working on that we're going to actually talk through today. And we'll go ahead and pop that one in here. Okay. All right. So this is giving us all of our numbers that we'll be walking through today. I'm going to scooch back in. All right. And there we go. So... For the budget, it's going to run from 823 to 9.5. In my bills account, I'm going to still have $1,500 deposited in there. In my variable account, I have $800 going in there. And then for the bonus, I was hoping for 2000 It looks like it'll be more like 2500 that I'll be working with. So I am going to, um, that's what I documented here for budgeted. And that money is actually going to be deposited into my variable expense account. The amount that goes into my bills account is, is a static amount, and I don't want to change that 
because I really want bills to just be bills. And so um, this, everything else kind of goes into this variable account. So that's where that money will go. But I do document it a little bit differently in here. So the total for that is $4,800 that I'll be working with come tomorrow, okay? All right, next for bills. And again, remember, we're doing a two-week period, not a one-week period. We've got Lawn Love. Like I told you, we're going to do zero for that. And I want to make sure that that money doesn't come out. So that's why I go ahead and document it here with a zero. But I do have to be mindful that sometimes, you know, things don't work the way that they're supposed to. So just in case. So he did not come to cut the lawn. He has not come today. And today would be the day that he comes. And so I would assume that we're good on that. Gas South, we're going to do 102. Mortgage, we're going to do 715. Ring, 10 AHS. I moved it up to 50. It was 43. I think it's supposed to go up to 48 and some change. I'm going to round it up to 50. Now, let me go ahead and mark here that Gas South comes out on the 23rd. All of these other ones are the first. Uh, the mortgage is not on a auto draft. Uh, so I do go in and manually pay that, but everything else there is. I'm going to pay class dues, $25. Electric is going to come out on the first as well. And that's $90. That is higher than typical. Usually I only need $150 <laughs> that, to cover the cost, but it's going to be $190 this time. Okay. And then ties, pet insurance, car insurance are all out before I even have this amount deposited into the bills account. And so there you go. Next, um, oh, well, add it together, Monique, 102, 715, 10, 50, 25, 190 is 1,092. Okay. All right, next we have um, sinking funds and savings challenges. So $160 automatically goes into sinking funds. And that's because of um, $85 going into property or $80 going into property insurance and $80 going into subscriptions. I am going to need to bump that up by another $5 because I did get information that the property insurance is going to go up from $160 to like $168, $169. So I do need to bump that up a little bit more. But not this time. This time around, we'll stick with the numbers that we're used to. Monday Mini, $60 each week. So that'll be a total of $120. Uh, for other, that full $2,500, I'm going to account for that. And we're going to actually walk through the cash planning for that and how much money I want to put in different categories as a part of this video. And that's why I'm rushing just a little bit um, as we're talking. All right, my family binder, I'm going to give $30 there. Personal binder, I'm going to give $40 there to cover those envelopes. And so all of that together, 120 plus 30, 40, 2,850 dollars for that. Okay. All right, up here in the corner, expenses. Usually I do the expenses for one week and that's it. So I went ahead and documented here. This is actually going to be week one, and then this is week two. It's not really budget versus actual because I never not give what I say that I'm going to give for these because I stuff envelopes and then I unstuff the cash whenever the money is spent. So um, in each of these for week one, week two, we have the same amounts going out. You'll notice that I no longer include my name, Monique, and any personal money for me. I am going forward, going to leave that money in the bank. And um, I mentioned this on a previous video. I'm going to treat it the way So Crafty Sinai does, where she calls it me money. So my me money is just going to stay in the bank. And that's it. If I spend it, great. If not, and it starts to accumulate over time. And then I should be able to take some of that out and maybe use it for an extra debt plant payment or towards a savings challenge at some point. But I'm no longer going to cash stuff that money. So um, I do have here documented out how much these all end up to. I'm not going to give to extra to that extra savings envelope this time um, for this paycheck cycle. So uh, that'll be a total of $280 each week, which is a total of $560 total for the two-week period that's going to go towards my variable expenses. 
City is going to get there um, for debt. City is going to get there 155. Nelnet is going to get 82. So that's $237. So total income, 4,800 minus my bills, which is 1092. My expenses are 560. My savings is 2850. And then my total debt is 237. So let's figure those out and see where we are. Okay. 4,800 minus 1092 minus 560 minus, I think I hit something wrong, 4,800 minus 1092 minus 560 minus 2850. I think I hit a plus there for a minute ago and that's why that was, <laughs> I was about to get real happy. All right, so when I do all of these, I should still have $61 um, as under budget, as rollover for the next paycheck cycle. Okay, let's see. Next is cash envelope planning. Um, and I'm, I'm working through these numbers. I will show this information to you when I actually do the cash stuffing. As some, well, I may be able to finish it now because I'm not gonna do groceries and that's my spending tracker. So I don't have to worry about that just yet. So I may be able to show you guys now. So let us go now to what we're looking at as far as my cash planning is concerned. So. I am going to try and come out just a tad bit. All right, and I'm gonna pull out my binders because I, I need to, I have $2,500 that I'm gonna work with. Let's, let's slow down. All right, so I've got $2,500 overall, okay? First, and I kinda started working through some numbers, so I'm gonna pull that out and have it over here on the side. First, I have to go out of town. Well, now the Look, comma was in the wrong place. I wish it was 25,000, good. Y'all wouldn't see me on the video no more. Let me just tell you, if they gave me $25,000 bonus, just be ready for the I'm back um, video to happen about eight, nine months from now. Everybody's just like, where's Monique? She hasn't posted anything. And then I'm gonna do that I'm back video, you know, that always gets thousands of views because that's what's gonna happen. The kid would have been out, all right. So $2,500 is my bonus amount that I am trying to plan for. First, I need to give money to hubby. So I found out that I will be traveling for work and I'm going to Texas, which means hubby sweets is going to have to be um, super step, uh, stepdad for the full week. That means he's not going to be able to travel back to South Carolina to, um, to work his version of working as an entrepreneur. And so what I'm gonna do is offset some of the costs that he would have, or offset some of the income or revenue he would have made by putting aside $400 for him because he won't be able to travel because he gotta be here to do to be stepdad. And he doesn't have to be here, but he really wants to be here. And so I want to, and I want to acknowledge that and honor that. So I'm gonna put aside 400 bucks for that. Um, you, you guys know Sweet's mom is coming into town. She wants to do that virtual room. And Sweet set me up, y'all. Remember how I've been talking about the fact that she wants to do the whole zombie room? And I'm like, make it make sense because Lord knows I cannot do one of them zombie rooms. I finally get, I'm talking to her on the phone. And I'm like, Ma, I haven't bought the tickets yet as far as the virtual room. I, I said, are you sure you want to do the zombie room? She was like, zombie, what? I said, are you sure you want to do the zombie room? And I saw Sweets over there shaking his head. And I was like, yeah. I was like, he said you wanted to do the zombie room. She said, no, I would never. And then, you know, she's pleading the blood of Jesus. We done had to have a whole Bible study session. <laughs> How about doing the zombie room? And she was like, no, I do not want to do nothing like that. And I said, okay, well, I'm going to hook you up and we'll get something a little bit a little bit easier for you. Then I got off the phone. Sweets is wrong. I should probably take off. I should do a minus 100 for doing his mama like that. Doing his mama like that. Well, she was, he was going to have that woman. I don't know what was going to happen, but we'll see. He might have to see a deduction in that amount of money. Okay, so family fun. I'm going to try and put aside $400. And then 
bills buffer, I want to put aside $650. And this money is for me to move to the split bill method for my mortgage and my auto payment. So it's $365 uh, pretty much each paycheck excuse me, for uh, my mortgage, $255 each paycheck for um, my auto. So that, did that add right? Three fifty sixty-five plus two fifty-five, $620. So I'm just going to say $650 overall. Um, and we're going to put aside for that. Okay. So that's $650 plus $400 plus $400 equals so I'm already at $1,450. So let's see how we can get to $2,500. All right, first we're gonna start with our sinking funds. So one of the things I mentioned just a minute ago, Jersey has a groom appointment. He had not, I'm sorry, he has a vet appointment. So that vet appointment is uh, $300. And he already has 207 so that's another $93. I need to put aside for Xerxes. So Xerxes gets 93 And that's going to be, I'm just going to put a dash. That means it's going to be online. Okay. Next, emergency. I want to get my emergency up to, it's at 625 Um, 800 Minus 625 equals 175. I'm going to add 175 so I can get emergency up to $800. All right, so that's a uh, that's $175 to add to that one. Car maintenance. Car maintenance. I want to get up to 600. I'm at 441. 600 minus 441 equals 159. I'm going to add 159 for that one. And we're going to keep that one online deductibles deductible let's just get that up to 300 so that's another 46 dollars gets that up to 300 we'll have that online as well next is sc land sc land i want to get that up to it's at 121 i'm going to get it up to 200 so 200 minus 200 minus one 200 minus 121, $79. And we'll keep that online as well. Gifts. Gifts is at $67. We want to get that up to 100. So 100 minus 67 equals $33. And we'll do that online as well. All right. Home decor is at $45. Let's get that at least up to 100. So home decor, that'll be 55. I know that. And we'll keep that online as well. Okay. Um, utility buffer is this one. This one is just the interest. Any interest that I make from the high yield savings account goes into this. So I don't actually cash stuff anything else outside of that. Subscriptions is already taken care of. Don't have to worry about that because I give to that every paycheck. I give to property insurance every paycheck as well. So we don't have to worry about that one. And then we have taxes. So taxes, I have, this is tax prep. So I have $30 in there right now. Let's at least get that up to 50. And we'll leave that, this is cash. No, we want to get it up to 50. So that's $20, sorry because it's 30 in there already. Let's just do that online as well. All right, so those are the amounts that I have there so far. Next, we will move to my savings challenge book. So let's see where we are at this point. So it was 400 plus 400 plus 650 plus 93, 175, 159, 46, 79, 33, 55, and 20 equals, I'm at $2,110. So at this point, 
at $2,110. All right, so let's see what we got going on in these. First, self-care. Mm, my next set of numbers is the 60, a 50, I think that's 15, 40, and 35. So let's do, let's just do the 60. So for self-care, I want to do $60, okay? Next, for the home projects, I scratched off another one just because I wanted to see how much that was going to be. So I already scratched off, let me look at this this way, I'd already scratched off the 40, I scratched off another one which was the 50, so that's going to be a total of $90 at least that I need to give to this one. And this is home, I'm just going to mark it down as home projects. And what I say? $90. Okay. Debt. Debt. This is the... Okay, so I was doing this $10 challenge, you guys. And I decided to um, get rid of this one because there were too many challenges going on because I'm introducing the 100 envelope challenge. Yes. Surprise, surprise. But um, I decided to get rid of this one. It had $110. I took the majority of that money and I put it in here for extra debt instead. And I'm using this Liz and Less bookworm um, challenge that I had before. So I had, um, I was working this as a part of one of the Monday mini savings challenges. And I realized the numbers and the challenge itself just didn't lend well to one of the Monday minis that I was doing. It was just too much to try and do. And I wasn't really getting anywhere on it. So I suspended it and stopped doing it for a while. That was 72. All right. So up to here, we were at $72. Okay. Then let me see how much I moved over from that $10 challenge. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. I moved the whole thing over. All right. So 72 plus 14 equals 86 plus 15 equals 101. So it's a hundred and all of these numbers that are already outlined is $101 and I've got one 10 in here. So a little bit extra. That's okay. I've got three more to do. So if you save the top numbers, you would end up at 75. If you save the bottom numbers, you would end up at 150. If you save both of the numbers, you would end up at 225. This one isn't gonna be quite right because remember some of these categories I wasn't able to do the way I wanted to because I was trying to do it for a Monday Mini. So what I will do is do this. Six plus 15, hey, six plus 15 equals 21. So this one book, if I do both of these numbers is $21, 21 plus 17, because that's seven and 10, so 17. So 21 plus 17 equals 38. And then five and five together is 10, plus 10 equals 48. So this is $48. So it'll be $48 to finish the extra debt challenge. 48, and this one I wanna get in cash for sure okay and I think actually my self-care I want to get that in cash too so this one will get in cash as well all right all right so I was at 210 2110 plus 60 equals 2170 plus 90 equals 2260 plus 48 equals 2308 Minus 2,500 equals $192. All right, so I still have $192 left to plan. I am going to start the 100 envelope challenge, all right? So the way, I know this says 52. <laughs> so, but um, I had enough of the envelopes themselves, these that came with it. I got it from Amazon, it was on sale. I think it was like $7.99. 7 
Um, and it just came with this cover and with the envelopes themselves, not the stickers. I ordered the stickers from Amazon. They were $5.99. Um, but they, they gave me enough envelopes that it, I could go all the way through basically to 100 So I decided to do that. So now we're going to make this a 100 envelope challenge. This is one of the baddies and budgets freebies that I received when I did the, when I bought the budget binder. So this is what we're going to use to do that. I'm going to try and and at least every paycheck period, if possible, I'm going to try and save the highest and lowest number still available. So this time out, I want to save 100 because it's the highest one available and one since it's the lowest one available. My hope is that eventually I'll meet in the middle and that each time I'm doing this, I, I'm, have, I'm, I'm able to save the exact same amount. So each time it should be $101 every time, every paycheck period that I'm saving. And that would be basically two weeks, $1 for one week, $100 for, for week two. So that's what I'm going to try and do. We may only get through this week that way, and I'm going to have to change it. I've seen a lot of people do it a lot of different ways, but I really am hoping to get to that true $5,050 mark. So I'm going to save... Um, for the 100 envelope challenge and I'm going to do 101 for that so let's plus 101 so I still have $91 left now I want to give to my babies so Little Bean and Corinne because Corinne does have some more uh, things that are happening for school that I need to take care of. So I'm going to say 91 divided by two equals $45 a piece. And Bean gets the extra dollar. So 46, 45. I want to get all of these in cash as well. So we're going to mark those off in cash. So that will be the spend for the $2,500 on bonus um, that I have for bonus. Okay. So I'm now going to transition back over here to the cash envelope now that I worked out all of those. And I know not only how much money I'm contributing, contributing, but also what money I want to get in cash. So the one, ones that I want to get in cash is going to be self-care. I want to get home self-care at 60. I want to get extra debt. At 48, 100 envelope at 101, little bean, 46, and Corinne, 45. All right. And then the way that those numbers work out is just normal. I don't have to do anything special. So 20s, 320s on this one, 220s, a 5. And three ones for extra debt, a 100 and a one for the 100 envelope. Bean is going to get two 20s, a five and a one for the 46. Corinne is going to get two 20s and a five for the 45 for her. Um, the only one that I had not worked out was Monday minis, what that's going to look like here, because I think I could find some ones overall, but you know what? I'm just going to say what my normal breakdown would be. My normal breakdown would be 40 ones for that and four fives. All right. So let's factor this up. Pets. I didn't, I didn't do Xerxes. Don't want to mess up. Make sure I have everything down. A 20 here. Yeah. Two 20s for dining, which is 40. A 20 and two fives here for home, which is 30. A 20 and 10 for gas, which is 30. 50. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're good. All right. So I've got one. 100. I have one. 50s. I have one. Two, three, four, six, seven, 10, 12, 14, 16. I have 16 20s. I have one, two, four, four tens. I have two, four, eight. Okay, 10. <laughs> Let me do it this way. Two, four, five, nine, 
15, 23, 24, 25, 26. That should be 26. Now I'm going to go backwards the other way. 8, 9, 10, 11, 17, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. All right. 45, 48, 49, 50. That should be 51s. All righty. So 51s equals 50. There's no 2s. 26 times 5 is 130. 40 and 10s. 16 times 20 equals 320. 150 and 1, 100. So 50 plus 130 plus 40 plus 320. Yep, plus 50 plus 100 equals $690. Going across, and then let's go down. So 112, I'm sorry, 110, 110, plus 30, 30, 40, 20, 10, 20, 60, 30, 48, no, 40. I got this 48, so let me do 40, then we do 60, then we do 101, then we do 46, then we do 45, $690. I hope that made sense, y'all. Okay, all right, so we are good. And that's how we work through the budget. So I'm excited about this opportunity. Glad we were able to get that bonus in play. And this is the way my money is going to break down. So I will be going to the bank to get this cash and then do a cash stuffing. All right, that is it. Thanks everybody for your time. You guys have a good one.